issues that we hear about for teams coming in here, how much of an effect can that have? And if it's more than zero, uh, what are keys to getting through that? We're not even getting into any of that stuff. Uh, our guys are in great shape. They're ready to compete. Uh, if uh, Denver wants to tip this thing off at the top of uh, Everest, we'll do that. Um, this thing is going to be decided between the four lines. Uh, you know, they also got to come back to Miami if we want to make it a, a, about that. We'll turn off the air conditioning. They got to play in uh, 90 degree uh, humidity, uh, sap the S H I T out of their legs. This thing is going to be decided between those four lines. Um, and we'll decide it then. Over here on your left. How much has been made of heat culture over the years, and this year especially because you know, you're know you an eight seed that's gotten this far? From your perspective, how would you define heat culture and what separates? Uh, I, I think it's team, been defined franchise? enough. Uh, I, I think uh, you can just look at all the, the whatever, thousand other articles uh, about it. <laughs> I don't think anybody wants to hear uh, about it. It's something we believe in. It's, it's for us. Uh, it's not for everybody. Um, I also think you do have to credit uh, and acknowledge Denver's culture. They have a very strong culture. I don't think it's a coincidence that uh, the two teams have uh, been able to have sustained success, um, and they've done a great job of, of building uh, their culture. Um, you know, uh, Mike and his staff have just done a tremendous job of building uh, um, a system that fits, you know, perfectly uh, around their t their two. Uh, Top players, uh, and you know they they uh, do the, all the right things. You're, you're not going to have any kind of uh, uh, weaknesses or glitches or cracks um, in in a culture um, or professionalism or anything like that. Uh, um, and and we feel the same way uh, about uh, our group. So I, I just think it's set up for for great competition. Back right, Tim. Eric, given what your team has gone through for the last 12 months, starting with game seven last year, and then the play in and I mean, you, you know, the history, obviously, is this one maybe a bit more rewarding in some respects for you getting back here just because of how difficult this path was? No, I, I probably think Tim more than anything is just the more experience you have, just the more uh, um, gratitude you have for any of these kind of opportunities. Uh, this league is so fragile. It is so tough, you know, to uh, go through the gauntlet. Um, not only just a regular season, uh, 82 games, you know, five and a half months, but then to go through the gauntlet of uh, three seven-game series just to get to this point, um, you're just really grateful, you know, for, for these kind of uh, opportunities. And this is a special group, you know, that – this group has been able to overcome a lot of different things, uh, handle a lot of adversity, uh, setbacks, um, things that have not gone the way we wanted it to go. Uh, and instead of uh, having that collapse our spirit, it, it allowed us to develop some fortitude and grit collectively uh, and give us something to rally around, uh, which was each other. Um, and those are those are special qualities. I mentioned the other night. Those are uh, it's, it's a reflection of life, you know, to be able to develop, you know, those kind of things that can get you through the tough times, and then when you overcome it, um, it just makes things a, a lot more gratifying. Vince in the third row. Hey, Spo Vince Gould, Yahoo Sports. You've had to coach against some pretty unique players, from Tim Duncan to Kevin Durant, Giannis. How unique of a challenge does Jokic present because of all the things he can do? He's very unique. Uh, he doesn't really have any uh, noticeable weaknesses uh, in terms of uh, his size, his skill set. Uh, he's one of one. Uh, and the myriad of ways that he can impact the game and impact winning. Uh, we have great respect for the Denver Nuggets organization, um, how they operate, uh, and um, the system you know that they run. And this is the way it should be. You, you shouldn't be playing any ducks, you know, at this point uh, uh, when you get to the finals. Uh, you know, the, I don't know why maybe the mainstream media have kind of slept on on Denver, but when we saw them in the bubble, you know, we thought, all right, this team is going to be doing basically what they're doing. This year, then up until now, 
We thought this would be a run for a long time. If Murray didn't get hurt, they probably would have already had a couple finals berths. I mean, that's how uh, great of a duo they are and, and, and the system that Mike and his staff have built that just really fits. Um, you know, so I think we, we, we all think they're legit. Um, and uh, in some ways, you know, it's a mirror image you know, uh, series, not in terms of style, uh, but, uh, you know, teams that uh, probably have, have been overlooked, uh, underestimated, uh, build a chip on their shoulder uh, over that. Uh, you know, so it, it's lined up, you know, to be a, a great competition. Ira in the front. Uh, Ira Winderman, South Florida Sun Sentinel. Um, Eric, we had a chance to see Tyler go through a pretty extensive workout in Boston. Uh, he said his hope is to come back for this series. What would you put the chances or odds or percentages of maybe Tyler Hero being able to see action in the finals? I'm not a math guy, so I'm not good with percentages. He will not uh, play tomorrow. Uh, look, we don't want to get ahead of ourselves right now. He's, he's still just starting this process. Uh, we do have a few days you know, here just to continue his work. I, I can't even m make any kind of proclamation until he takes these next important steps, uh, and that's with contact and, uh, and doing things more on the court live. Uh, and we'll just see. I mean, we're all encouraged by uh, you know, his progress that he's made. Uh, but we want to continue to be responsible uh, and and make the best the decisions. Uh, he's not there yet. Joe in the middle. Joe Varn, The Athletic. Good afternoon. Um, as the last series wore on, you had to go away from Kevin and, and Cody and, and go smaller. Do you reintroduce them in this series with a, obviously a much different opponent? Yeah, it, it, it's still going to be all hands on deck. You know. I, I, However this thing starts tomorrow, it probably will be similar to the last series, that it's going to look different by the end of the series. And you have to be open to all the different possibilities. Um, both uh, K-Love and, and Cody are major pieces to, to what we do. Uh, and when you're dealing with you know, a, a guy like Jokic, uh, you're probably going to need several bigs. And, and thankfully, we do have that kind of roster depth uh, at that position. And they all bring something a little bit different. Uh, nobody's going to be uh, a quote-unquote stopper in this series. This is about uh, you know competing uh, every single possession, finding uh, different kind of uh, advantages in the margins um, that only competitors can find. Uh, but thankfully, we do have you know both of those guys, and, and we're able to pick them up late. Jeff in the middle. Jeff Zilga at USA Today. Eric, you mentioned the duo in Jamal and Nicole. What is the pressure that they put on defenses? Uh, well, they're both dynamic. Uh, they both uh, can do it on their own, but they also uh, both uh, really complement each other. That's hard to find in this league. Uh, you know, when your two best players just absolutely complement each other, uh, they both can and have scored 50 in, in, in a playoff game. Uh, and they both can be facilitators. And you know, I don't think uh, either one of them care how many points they score. You know, um, it's just about getting the most efficient shot you know, for the offense. So they play the right way. Uh, and that's you know, something that you have to try to get them out of that, that rhythm. You know, there's no easy way to do that. You just have to find, find a way. Back right, Rachel. Rachel Nichols from Showtime. Eric, I asked this not knowing exactly what year you moved to Portland, so excuse my ignorance here. Um, you've been in so many NBA finals in one way or another, but if I can take you back to when you were a kid, a teenager, and they were just something you watched on TV, what was the one that you remember being like, I want to be there, I want to be on that stage one day? I didn't really think about it like that, you know, uh, because back then I was still thinking, hey, I'm going to play in the league. I definitely wasn't thinking, I want to be Jack Ramsey. I, I was scared of him. Uh, you know, probably the, the, the and the story has been told many times, but, um, you know, I, I probably had a little bit more awareness. Like, All right, I'm going nowhere as a player. Uh, and when Rick Adelman was the coach, he was, you know, Jack Ramsey was the first image I had of a, of a head coach. He was the coach of, uh, of our team. And uh, as I got older um, in high school and college, it, it was Rick. And I just loved the way he, he operated. He's been a big mentor you know, to me. Um, 
so the Adelman kids, including David, and I have known David since he was, you know, probably three. Uh, we were all running around the facility, uh, but that's probably when I was uh, followed them the most was when they they made those two finals uh, runs. And do you remember thinking I could be there one day? One no, that another? wasn't that wasn't really a thought. Um, it, it was more just uh, you know celebrating you know that team and uh, and really trying to support. Uh, all the families, you know, the, the organizations were much smaller then. Uh, so it really felt like a, a family uh, deal. You know, you grew up, uh, you know, with the, with the organization. They were just trying to support them and figure out a way how they could knock, knock off those, uh, those Bulls teams. Melissa, last question. Hey, Spo. Melissa Rowland, Fox Sports. Um, Jamal Murray just said the two teams with the best chemistry have made it to the finals, and you kind of talked about it when you talked about the mirror image thing. Um, how has your guys' chemistry and your guys' trust in one another gotten you guys through your many obstacles this season? Yeah, it's those moments when nobody else is understands uh, and nobody's, nobody else is in the locker room, uh, nobody else... Uh, you know, we, we say that all the time. We are, are our, our guys are the men in the arena, you know, and it's tough to explain it uh, to people on the outside. Uh, but when you have these uh, privileges to be able to go through adversity or setbacks uh, and learn from that, uh, I, I think those are lessons that we all could benefit from, that you develop a grit and a collective perseverance and fortitude. Uh, and if you approach it the right way, which this group does, uh, that um, you, know, you can really grow. Uh, and they can be incredible life experiences uh, to be able to come together you know, like that. But Denver has a very similar you know, personality. We didn't necessarily hang out with them uh, in, in the bubble, but you know, competitors recognize competitors. And, and we would acknowledge you know, them. Uh, and we never really, we, we didn't have to face them in, in the playoffs, but we always just seemed to bump into them. You know, the staffs would bump into each other out on the lake, you know, uh, for whatever reason, we were all fishing out there. And those were the two organizations that were doing it. Uh, I, I have no idea why, but it was, you know, they're good people. They're good, great competitors. Uh, we have respect for them. Uh, and I, you know, they have an edge, you know. Mike has an edge, and it's that that edge is going to be there for both sides, uh, and it's going to be decided, you know, between those those four lines. Uh, and this is what you want: you you want the greatest challenges uh, in this league. You're not expecting anything to be easy, particularly when you get to this level. We just want to get this uh, started. We have great, great competitors that want to put themselves out there for everybody, uh, you know, to see and judge, uh, and and have no fear about it. All right. Thank you. Thank you.